Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So if you're looking for a relatively small functional receive only HF antenna, then I think I've found a solution for you. This is the HF Active Loop Antenna version 4 from Cross Country Wireless, who are based in the UK. Now don't worry, they ship worldwide, so for those of you outside the UK, keep watching to know more. Now this antenna has a supported frequency coverage of between 500 kHz right up to 55 MHz. Now this isn't just a copy of the popular MLA, it's not even close. In fact, it's way beyond the likes of small HF antennas that I've seen before. The tight RF filtering avoids receiver overload by signals outside the wanted medium wave and HF bands. Now this antenna is a true magnetic loop, as careful design has isolated the antenna loops from the built-in amplifier, which minimizes electrical field pickup. This also helps minimize noise, even when used indoors. The amplifier also contains a common mode choke, meaning any RF noise traveling on the coax is attenuated, all helping to give its user a noise-free experience. The aluminium bracket has been designed so that the antenna can be mounted either vertically or horizontal, with either mounting solutions giving different benefits. With a horizontal mounting, it makes it easy to attach to something like a balcony railing for those living in apartments or high-rise blocks. With the added height and horizontal polarization comes the benefits of omnidirectional performance and a lower angle of reception. When mounting closer to the ground, the user can install it vertically, providing a bi-directional performance along with a high angle for NVIS reception. The two main elements are made from heavy coaxial cable and the box is made from polycarbonate, which houses the amplifier. Now the amplifier is powered and it's powered over the feeding 50 ohm coax using a bias T, so no need to run an extra separate power cable. Now the output connection from the antenna is BNC, just like we see on the bias T unit. Now the bias T unit requires a 12 volts input, which is sent up the coax to the antenna to power the amplifier. A minimum current of 100 milliamps is required, but any shack power supply is capable of supplying this. The bias T unit also uses BNC connections. One attaches to your SDR or receiver, and the other connects to your antenna's 50 ohm feed coax. Now Cross Country Wireless also sells an HF multi-coupler, which can be used to feed many SDRs or receivers from the same antenna. Go and see their website for more information on that product. Now this antenna has also been designed so that it can be used no less than two meters away from a transmitting antenna, meaning you could install this antenna on top of your mast, above your Yagi antenna, and use it as a low noise diversity reception antenna. So let's put this antenna to the test. Now, unfortunately, the HF bands are in rather poor shape at the time of making this video, but yet I was still able to receive some rather nice transmissions. First, I'll test the antenna's performance with the antenna mounted about three meters above the ground in a horizontal plane. Now, as you can see here, I'm using a steel pole with the mounting bracket secured to my pole with just two tie wraps pulled tightly. Now, after checking with Cross Country Wireless, they confirmed that the mounting pole material will not have any unwanted effects on the antenna's performance, so using an aluminium or steel pole is perfectly acceptable. Now, it's not particularly high for the installation polarization. I believe if installing the antenna horizontally, then it should be at least one quarter wave above the ground. Maybe I'll get this installed on my main mast, so it's way above the roof line in the near future. However, when you mount the antenna vertically, it can be low to the ground, but you do get some nulls on the sides just like you do with any magnetic loop. Now with the feeder cable plugged into the bias T unit and then off to the RSPDX SDR receiver, I then turned on the power supply to feed the 12 volts to the bias T. And here's what I was able to hear. Det ska bli intressant och förhoppningsvis så kommer den att sitta 15 meter då på båda fästerna så att säga. Italy, Italy 4, Papa November Fox, Special Event Station, QRZ. Good to Lima 1, Yankee Tango Tango, very good afternoon, nice to meet you again on air. You're 5 and 9 today, QSL. 20, secure 20 meters, Yankee Lima 3, Boston, Florida. Yankee Lima 3, Bravo Fox, secure 20. Go for Juliet uh, from Norway, 
Very good. Uh, so then you wrap it up until next time. And uh, then uh, it's the backside of country. That's why it's a name Yannis, like Juliet Arts, a member in the theatre. Lima Bravo 7, Golf Juliet, Uncle Lima 3, Bravo Floor. Of course, decoding digital modes like FDA is also possible. Well, as long as you've got a signal. And pretty much every single band had FT8. I'm going Alpha 7, Yankee, Lima, Yankee, 9, Alpha 6, I'm going Alpha 7, Yankee, Lima, Yankee, listening to Stamba. Radio 4, Germany, Mexico, security of the meters. Oscar Kilowan United, Oscar Villa, Colin CQ, CQ, Oscar Kilowan United, Oscar Villa, BBC station, Mr. Ido, in the log, in the log, Ido, 73, thank you. Italy, Sierra, zero, bravo, Sierra Radio, Italy, Sierra, zero, bravo, Sierra Radio, CQ section. 73 is from the sunny island here, blue sky and uh, lovely weather. Echo zero, Echo Radio, Sierra, I am zero, DK, seven, Zulu, bravo. Yeah, beautiful. Well, you're making a trip here to Idaho on the Dipole 200 watts, and uh, we're running a four-element cubicle quad with about, uh, I don't know, six, seven hundred watts, about uh, 20 meters. So anyway, it's good to hear you. This is our first time on my log, and it's so good to meet you. Uh, uh, Golf 8, Sierra Alpha Alpha, Kilo 7, Delta X-Ray, X-Ray, cheers, uh, Ian, and then... Radio 4, Germany, Mexico. The 4 Echo Delta 59. Thank you, 73. Radio 4, Germany, Mexico. Enter there. Um, I've, I've heard a few uh, stations using. Uh, I've got uh, facilities for 15 and 20, but uh, I, I don't use 20 meters that often. I, I go on there if I have to. Uh, but I, I've started using uh, 17 uh, metres. I find that a, uh, quite a good uh, band. But um, there's not always a lot of activity on there. Uh, Here on Barcelona, Spain. The name is Lou. Lou Dunn. Oscar Leone Port. Over. Thank you very much. For the time of the And the receiving, Port Sango. And um, I'm about 50 miles south south of Liverpool. Um, power here is 400 watts, and uh, the antennas are rotatable dipole, which is uh, around about 30 meters high there, QSO. Really, the sunset sunrise, but how many grey line could pass a stream? Not a museum, I feel like we are. So, hey, Rich, uh, Mike Zero, Romeo Kilo Kilo, pick it up. I had a few watts, so, uh, <laughs> to enable it, but, uh, yeah, no, it, it works a treat. Well, no, thanks for calling in, Tim. You have a lovely weekend, and, uh, yeah, I am doing photos this weekend, so, yeah, uh, it'll be great to get you a call in the log. Uh, and I'll say, uh, 7 3, I'll just put the microphone back to you for the final. And, uh, thank you very much for calling in. M0 KEP, GW4 BML. Now, I know there was quite a lot of clips there, and if you've got through them all well, well done. I really wanted just to show all the different bands that it works on, and it works quite well. Now, even though this, some of the signals were quite low and some of the spectrums looked quite empty, got to remember the conditions on HF were really, really bad when I was recording this video. However, I did do some testing down on the lower bands and uh, picking up NDBs was was a breeze. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't catch any footage of those. Anyway, guys, I must admit, I'm actually quite blown away at this antenna's performance. I think it works really well. And to say, you know, this is not a sponsored video and I was not paid to say this, just for those that think that I do. Anyhow, if you guys want to check out this antenna or more information, I'll leave a link down below to crosscountrywireless.net where you can find out more information about this antenna and all the other products that they manufacture. And if you're lucky enough, you can buy one yourself. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.